Seven million people die due to air pollution every year. Every year. Back in my home country, I have experienced this pollution firsthand. It was so bad that if I was out for a few hours, I could feel the grit in my mouth, even after wearing a face mask. And it was crunchy. Imagine crunchy air. Now, my research is working towards designing filters to improve air quality. And I know making an efficient filter is tricky. If I want something that can capture everything, I'll have to build a thick filter by stacking many layers. But as a trade-off, it will block the airflow. Conversely, if filters are made less compact, they fail to trap particles, especially the small nano-sized ones that penetrate deeper into our lungs, causing cancer, asthma, and heart diseases. So does this mean we'll always have to compromise between a good flow and a good capture? Maybe not. To get the best of both, I tried to combine two technologies, one using nanofibers. Now let's compare them with a single strand of human hair. Yes, they're 500 times thinner. And such fine fibers can form a mesh that is very breathable and has a large surface area. What does that mean? Um, just for perspective, why do we cut our vegetables? Because we want to increase the surface area. A larger surface area will increase the rate of cooking and allow for more spices and flavorings to attach, right? Now, with that advantage of nanofibers, I added my own spices in the form of coat technology based on spatial surface coating. I coated my nanofibers with chemical molecules that have spatial attractants. And guess what? Up to 92% of nanoparticles were removed even with a single layer of nanofiber. In fact, my code coated filters behaved like magnets, pulling the particles in as the air flowed through. And not only air, I've already extended my research to capture bacteria and viruses in water. So let's get ready to kick down that wall of inefficient filter and build this wall of protection that will let us breathe without any compromise. Thank you. Very nice. Questions, remarks? If it holds so good, can you clean the fibers or you have to replace them, the tissue, after usage? Good, que uh, good question. Um, in my lab, what I've found is that the Attachment is um, non-covalent, so we can wash them and it'll be all new to use again. How long can you use uh, this mask? For how long? Um, <coughs> hopefully, because um, the attachment of molecules to the surface is quite strong, so um, I, hopefully um, it will um, work. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very Thank much. You.